sister wives who paid for Cody and Mary Brown's divorce? And Mary Brown's careful choice words give fans hope for justice. Also Christine shocked at Cody's another wife allegation during finale. And TLC shocks sister wives viewers with hit spin-offs. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2's gossip channel. Sister Wives stars Cody and Mary Brown's divorce back in 2014 when she no longer was his only legal wife. For 24 years, this was a title she proudly held but gave it up for what seemed to be a good reason. So, who ultimately shelled out the cash, Cody and Mary Brown wed in 1990 and appeared to be quite happy together. She was his first and only legal wife. In 1993, he had a spiritual union with Janelle Brown and another one the following year with Christine Brown. Finally, in 2010, he found his fourth wife, Robin Brown, and despite their union also being spiritual, it was actually quite lavish. Christine and Janelle had small little exchanges whereas Robin's was a full-on celebration. Then, in 2014, Mary and Cody divorced but, at the time, it was not because the sister wives stars were no longer happy together. They claimed it was so he could marry Robin and adopt her. Three children from her previous marriage. So, who actually paid for the divorce? One would think it would be Cody as it was a favor for him and Robin. Now, a Reddit thread has been started and the truth has been revealed. Mary was the one who paid for the divorce, per the Register of Actions. Upon learning this information, were fellow Redditors shocked, or was this pretty much expected? It did appear that he and Robin used his three now ex-wives for an income. Without them, their stories, and interactions, sister wives would no longer exist. So, what was the reaction to learning this information? Why am I not surprised? He's probably the type to forget his wallet at home when they're out having dinner so he doesn't have to pay. Wow. Cody is truly a deadbeat. I wish I was surprised. I mean what money was Cody going to use that wasn't Mary's? Cody doesn't make his own money. He's a complete mooch and a loser. All alone now Mary Brown stayed committed to Cody Brown for almost a decade after that. She maintained a spiritual marriage with him until she finally got the message that there was nothing left. In one of the specials, she shared what she was looking for in a man. She was oddly specific and fans started to believe she may have already found someone. Furthermore, she let her former sister wife, Janelle Brown know that should help her obtain a divorce. Therefore, it seems she has likely rid herself of Cody and is on to bigger and better things Sister Wives fans believe Mary Brown has an endgame for justice involving Cody and Coyote Pass. Furthermore, they believe she may have teasingly revealed the hand she's playing during a recent talkback episode. What exactly did Mary say that has fans thinking that way? Sitting down to discuss the future of Coyote Pass with Robin and Cody, Mary Brown admits she's happy the situation is being documented. In chatter on Reddit, one fan of Sister Wives pointed out that documented was an interesting word choice. The op, penned, anyone else catch that moment in the second talk back episode? Documented is such a specific word choice. I hope the OG3 plan to go after Cody legally for all the financial fraud he has perpetrated against them the last 10 plus years. During a confessional, Janelle Brown makes it clear she understands where Mary is coming from. Janelle thinks it is time for them to get the entire property appraised. Then, she thinks it needs to be split fairly among the four of them. Janelle Brown doesn't agree with Cody seemingly claiming that because Mary only has one child she shouldn't be entitled to as much land as everyone else. Are they going after him? Fans chime in most fans assume her choice to use the words documented means she plans to make splitting up Coyote pass a legal matter. Here's what some had to say about it on the Reddit thread. Sounds like girlfriends got a game plan. H asterisk LL yet, she wanted the breakup documented and his unfair distribution of property documented. I think Robin knows this and that's the real reason she shut Cody up when he was explaining what he wanted more land for. I think that the CP situation is far from over. Janelle mentioned muddled. Assets and Mary is documenting the unfair land distribution. There is more to this story yet to come this comment by Mary confirmed what I suspected all along Mary set Cody up by asking him to go out onto the property to discuss the lots. Fans are here for Mary Brown's justice overall, fans on Reddit hope her careful choice of words meant she was coming after Cody Brown. Furthermore, fans hope that Janelle goes over him too. While fans would also love to see this of Christine, she has remarried and moved on with her life. So, it may not be a route she is interested in taking. 
So, do you think Mary Brown is willing to reach out to a lawyer to fight Cody and Robin over Coyote Pass? Do you think she is entitled to a fair share of the property? Sister Wives star Cody Brown made some shocking statements during the last episode of Look Back. He's no longer holding back when it comes to blaming his exes for the downfall of the family. But the 54-year-old surprised viewers after opening up about the woman who could have been his new wife before Robin. Cody recently had an interview where he talked about his experience with plural marriage. According to the Sister Wives star, he no longer advises people to marry and go over three wives. I'm not an advocate of plural marriage, but I've had my own experience in it and I've had my own failures in it, he added. The patriarch also said people have to be really wise about polygamy. The reality TV personality added that those who want to be in polygamy should know each other very, very, very well, but there's those marriages that have people who know each other very, very, very well, and they still don't work, he added, following his nasty divorces with Christine, Janelle, and Mary. Cody opens up about another wife during the last episode of Look Back. Cody shared a story about a woman he courted before Janelle married into the family. According to the Sister Wives star, there was a woman he was courting back then, who was also a friend of Mary. His courtship with the woman took some time until he married Janelle and Christine. However, he claimed that Christine rejected her by giving him an ultimatum. Cody Brown also said that she had no interest in having the woman in the family. After I married Christine, she still wanted to be family. Christine shut it down the first time because Christine and I were friends, she says, I'd never marry you if you married her. Sister wives, Christine Brown shuts down Cody's claims Christine learned about Cody's allegations during the finale. However, the sister wives star contradicted his statements and said that she never prevented her ex-husband from getting married again. I just don't even remember her wanting to marry Cody. It's just a lie. I'm sorry. That's just a lie. And why is he living in the past? Why is this relevant to anything? She added. Cody Brown also defended himself for going back through their past because there were sacrifices he made to love Christine. Moments later, Janelle reacted to her ex's statements by saying, Oh man, the sacrifice to love you. I'm like, I would have decked him at that point. What the hell? TLC has shocked Sister Wives viewers with its hit spin-offs and specials, which ended on Sunday, December 31st. They did a brief series of four shows that were unlike anything the network had done prior and it far exceeded expectations. So, what are fans saying about these shows? Viewers were not that impressed with the season 18 Sister Wives four-part tell-all. They were immediately turned off when they learned that Sukanya Krishnan would be returning as the host. She was deemed way too soft on Cody and Robin Brown, not holding them accountable for their actions and poor choices. Fans wanted someone else as a host, someone much stronger, who did not coddle Cody. Therefore, having her back was less than desirable. As the tell-all was coming to an end, the cast did promos saying the season was far from over. Yes, Christine Brown's wedding special starts Sunday January 7th but what else was ahead? There were two specials, each with two parts. Talk back where the cast watched the season premiere and finale while reacting. Then, they answered and responded to fan questions and basic comments. Along with that was look back where they would watch clips from old episodes and, again, respond and react. Though they only aired on TLC, they were in high demand, so much so, that a Reddit thread was started. Fans praised these specials with the op writing, in just two talk back episodes we've had more open, honest, and direct commentary than the entire run of the show. Bonus a weird window I didn't know I wanted to look through of Robin and Cody's relationship dynamic. I'm sorry for doubting. UTLC, please make more and air them immediately. Did others agree that these were the best of the best and more needed to air ASAP? We're all lying together. It helps to share a collective delusion. It is very strange to see just Cody and Robin and their dynamic as a now, actual, monogamous couple. They show affection and clearly care about each other. I'm not saying they're good people, but aside from the drama they look normal. The insights so, it looks like Sister Wives fans really were interested in the true inner workings of Cody and Robin Brown. The way that they sat on the couch together, watching the episodes was quite telling. There was a moment where she put her hand over his mouth. Then, viewers got to see them both slumped down and pouting, like they were in absolute misery. Meanwhile, Mary Brown was at her BNB with her best friend, Jen, laughing and having the best time ever. 
So, this seemed to be the most real side fans have ever seen in years and that was probably much appreciated. Did you fall in love with these spin-off specials more than you thought you would? Are you looking forward to seeing more of them in the future? What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Made some of the biggest remarks towards Robin during the last episode of Talk Back. The duo expressed their frustration with Cody's only remaining wife for her desire to fix the family for her own good. Here is what Jen said. Even though she wanted it, there was nothing for you. So, I'm really struggling. With that. She's entitled to her feelings but I just struggle with she's upset that you're doing something good for you. Mary acknowledged her friend's statements and said that she experienced a lot of mixed emotions about how her former sister wife desired her happiness but also wanted her to stay in the family. Robin exposes herself over and over some Redditors discussed Robin's behavior. Throughout Talk Back and Look Back. According to the poster, the Sister Wives star has started seriously controlling Cody in front of the cameras. The Redditor also pointed out how she would translate what he feels and means. But she has begun to physically take action to stop the patriarch from saying what he wants to say. Here are some of the instances the poster pointed out. In the conversation about why he wants Christine's plots of CP, she talks over him and shuts it down. No 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 you're not in the right mindset right now to answer this. Just short of telling him to shut up. In the talk back she says do you want to be an engaged father? Two or three times until he says an unequivocal yes then she turns around satisfied that's what I thought. In the look back I think. She straight up covers his mouth to stop him from talking. I can't remember the context but I was shocked. She tried to do it playfully but he wasn't laughing. In the trailer for Christine's wedding special she interrupts him multiple times when Cody was saying Christine had made the accusation about me and Robin puts her arm around him, leans in close to his face, and talks over him aren't we? So happy for them. And he says I'm just trying to tell the whole story and Robin says again but to the camera we're so happy.